the Isle of Man is one of the most exciting places for a motorsport enthusiast. And I always wanted to come here and do something uh, with a new car. It's the most demanding road I've ever driven on in my life. The Isle of Man is something very mysterious in today's world because there's no speed limit on the island, which is very unusual. I always like the mountain section. It's very, very fast. 200 miles per hour for a long time. Very, very quick. You've got to be looking so far in front of yourself to make sure you hit the right reference point. It's a motorsport mecca. No matter what you do or into over here, there's something going on if it's bikes, cars. I think a lot of people underestimate how good the roads are here. They're undulating, they're twisty, they're flowing and they're very fast. As a tarmac rally driver, the Manx is one of the favourite rallies of all time. We always thought it would be nice to combine a Ducati bike that plays the same role for the bikes as the GT3 RS plays in cars. The Panigale V4S is Ducati's flagship. You know, the Panigale is a very user-friendly machine, it really is. Being a V4, that configuration works very, very well as a road bike as well as a race bike. It feels nice and light, nimble, very easy in traffic, and of course, once you get out on the open road, it's very easy to manoeuvre. The GT3 RS, an awesome machine, it really is. It feels great. I mean, this car can be driven everywhere. The streets are not exactly a racetrack around here. They're very bumpy. They're more like uh, British B roads, but still the car is coping very well, given that the uh, suspension is very, very taut and uh, stiffly sprung. I'm very impressed. I started driving the cars with the older versions and then moved up to the later spec car. I've definitely been spoilt now. The car is very precise, still have a lot of traction and it's a joy to whirl it around here on the serpentines going uphill, downhill. You can even use some of the downfalls that the car has to offer here because you can drive so quick and it's legal. It's quite an aggressive power band, so much grip it really has and you know you can use the car day in day out, fabulous. The balance is great, the steering feel for me is fantastic, it gives you a lot of input and feedback to the driver. But the thing that blew me away totally for a two wheel drive car was its traction. It's so planted and uh, it's a real pleasure to drive. I drove most of the cars here and the most fun for me, believe it or not, is the newest one so planted, it's so precise, it's so powerful. I really enjoyed the laps on the GT3 RS Visa package the most today.